Hi folks, um, this is going to be a um, probably not a very short video, it's probably going to be a very long video on um, simple developments and um, don't let the, the name con um, confuse you about it. Um, it's not that simple but I think if you do a few examples um, from the book you'll start to understand. So I'm looking at um, our Copeland um, text here, um, Engineering Studies. And um, it's the Definitive Guide, Volume 2, 3rd Edition. And I'm looking at page 187, where we're looking at um, uh, simple developments. And that's probably all backwards, because this is on the selfie mode. Um, but a simple development is um, that uh, sort of drawing that you're quite used to, where they sometimes call it a net in, in maths, where you actually... Um, look at all the different views and you create a um, a net like that one there that when you cut it out and fold it up you would get a cube now when you have a simple development the thing that's going to happen with a simple development is uh, I just dropped my set square the thing that happens with a simple development is that all the planes that you're dealing with are vertical or horizontal so that would be your side view um, in an orthographic projection. That would be your top view. And that might be your front view. And all of these views, if they were drawn in the drawing, would be real lengths. Okay, so that's a simple development. Now, um, when you have to do development by triangulation um, for a, what they call a 3D transformation piece, which is what they talk about in the textbook on the pages I just mentioned, um, you start dealing with shapes that are a lot more complex. You might start dealing with um, shapes where um, the two sides are sloping up to, um, to meet this, these sides. And you end up with um, views with lengths that are not true lengths because they're sloping um, away from you. Okay, so that, this is what this is all about. Um, you might be designing a hopper with a, like a wide mouth coming into a, um, a square piece um, so that you know you could dump stuff into that hopper. Um, and that, that's the sort of shape you're dealing with. You can actually go, um, if you want to be really complex, from, um, from a square to a circle. Uh, that type of transformation, 3D transformation, is beyond the scope of the course. But um, that's the sort of um, thing you're dealing with when you're doing a 3D transformation. So there are simple transformations like this that you've probably done, maybe even you've done it in design technology um, in your drawing. And then there's the complex transformations with f um, planes that are facing away from you. That's what we're going to be discussing, how to tackle one of those. Um, and I'm going to do a half transformation just to show you the techniques that are necessary to complete that. And hopefully we'll get somewhere with it. But you'll need to get out your um, your set square. You'll need your um, your ruler. You will need your compass. You will definitely need a rubber and um, another pencil. Okay, so that's the equipment that you're going to need. Make sure you've you've got that on hand. And certainly, when you're going to exam, if you haven't got at least that and your calculator and a lot of other things, you're going to be in a lot of trouble. Anyway, we'll get on with it.